So tonight in partnership with Enough is Enough, we're looking at Nelson Mandela's legacy, right? As we, um, of course, continue to um, fight for justice and equity. And as you all know, um, Nelson Mandela was a global advocate for peace and justice, dedicated his life to the fight against apartheid and the pursuit of equality and human rights as um, it's also a day that was created in honor um, to to celebrate his legacy known as N nelson mandela international day um always is observed on the 18th of july so um i'll read a life of um legacy and leadership right first he led the fight against apartheid in south africa he spent 27 years in prison for standing up against inequality forgave his captors and chose reconciliation over revenge became the first black president of south africa in 1994. again he established the truth and reconciliation commission to heal the nation he also went on to commission the rights of children women and marginalized communities uh, worked to address poverty inequality and education he received the Nobel Prize, uh, Peace Prize, in 1993, and that was not actually all of all of it. Uh, he was also known for this particular quote: "A nation should not be judged on how it treats its highest citizens, but its lowest ones. For to be free is not merely to cast off one's chains, but to leave a way that respects and enhances the freedom of others." Well, here's a call to action for Nigerians. Number one, we need to hold our leaders accountable. We have to demand for transparency and accountability from those in power. Secondly, we need to celebrate diversity and unity, embrace Nigeria's rich cultural heritage and promote national unity. Thirdly, we need to invest in education, advocate for better funding and resources in schools, ensuring that education is accessible to all, particularly in the underserved communities. Also, um, we have to utilize technology for advocacy, leverage social media and digital platforms to raise awareness about social issues, mobilize support for causes, and hold leaders accountable. And finally, we need the support of civil society to engage with and support civil society organizations that promote human rights, education, and social justice. All right, so I'll conclude to say Nelson Mandela's life and legacy serve as a powerful reminder of the impact one person can have on the world. It's very, very yeah. powerful. So to share more on this, remember, just go and share your story. Visit oneperson.ng. And this was brought to you in partnership with Enough is Enough, as we always do every Monday.